Megan and I are up here at the Brainerd Lake Gateway Trailhead. This is the winter trailhead. We're about to hit the uh, trail to Brainerd Lake. I think it's yeah. the wall drop trail. Maybe we'll end up on the road, who knows? We don't really come up here and do this in the winter much, so we're totally noobs. And uh, looks like we're just gonna take the road up for a little bit. It's just so inviting. Maybe we will take the uh, trail on the way down. I'm nobody's stranger. I have your Just walking down the road while Meg pees. She uh, has uh, running induced, um, having to pee a lot. <laughs> so she's coming soon. Very soon. In fact, I see her. One thing that's cool about this road right now is there's still these little short stretches in asphalt where the snow has been swept off of the road and you get that along with huge drifts where it's super deep. So it's kind of cool to have such a varied uh, terrain. Coming up on a real big drift. Yeah. Right now I'm out here coming up on one of my favorite, probably my favorite campgrounds of all time. As far as like your sanctioned, you know, sanctioned car campgrounds, you know, national forest or national park kind of a deal. Oh my God. I love the Pawnee Campground up here at Brainerd Lake. It's a nice place to be. And they got some great walk-in tent camping sites. You feel a little bit more immersed in nature than you might at just a normal spot that you pull into. Yeah. It's hard to get those sites these days. I'm not gonna lie. It is tricky, but it's wonderful if you get one. This campground usually doesn't open until July and closes sometime around like the first weekend in, I wanna say September. It's a pretty short window. Pretty short window that it's nice enough that you wanna be out here camping, at least if you're like me and you're not into the winter camping thing so much.
Well, we made it to Brainerd Lake, as you can see. Woo! Meg's putting her arm warmers on. And it's gorgeous up here. You've got a lot of ice. It's kind of been, has that rippled effect to it. Super slippery on the ice up here. Uh, luckily, Meg has her cool La Sportiva blizzards with the studs. And I didn't bring spikes at all, so I'm just kind of scooting around, trying not to fall. But there's actually a lot of snow on the lake too. So it's not too bad. It's fun to be able to walk on the lake uh, in the summertime. We like to sit next to the lake sometimes, dip our feet in here, cool off a little bit. In the winter, you can walk right on it. On the way up here, we saw so many road bikers. It's so cool to see like um, just like peloton, pelotons of road bikers coming up Left Hand Canyon, heading up to Ward or Jamestown. And it's just kind of cool to see so many people in this other <laughs> sport that I'm not really that connected to right now. And uh, but seeing them enjoy that. Then you come up here to Brainerd Lake, seeing so many people with skis, seeing some people with fat bikes, those big wide tire bikes. And uh, you know, again, skiing and fat biking are things I'm not like, I don't really do very much. So it's just cool to see all the different various ways people are getting outdoors and enjoying themselves out here on a nice, beautiful day. I think it's gonna be close to 60 degrees today in Boulder and it's probably 40 degrees up here. Brainerd Lake, and there's a Meg behind me. We're just heading up towards the Colorado Mountain Club cabin that's up here. Got a cool cabin you can actually stay in. In the winter on the weekends, somebody has hot chocolate there for you. It's pretty cool. It's just such a beautiful day up here. There's very little wind and just so nice and calm and the sun, the light is so good right now. Back to the barn. What you doing, Meg? Taking my clothes off. It's 
common thing. I'm either peeing or taking my clothes off or putting my clothes back on. <laughs> A sugar cookie at the uh, CMC cabin and now I'm way hungry <laughs> it's like I was doing just fine running off you know my glycogen stores maybe a little fat in there and uh, but I had that taste of sugar got my uh, blood sugar going a little bit and now I'm hungry for more but I don't just want sugar I want something substantial some real food I'm gonna get there. All right, I just made it back to the uh, gateway entrance to Brainerd Lake. This is the wintertime trailhead. If you made it this far in the video, give yourselves a pat on the back. I know it wasn't easy. Oh, and Meg is here. Mm. What did how's, that? How was your run, Meg? That was so good. I especially like seeing friends in the cabin. That's, that's good. It's good life. It's pretty cool life to go around a snowy Colorado trail to a hut where your friends just happen to be hosting um, and run back. That's pretty awesome. Pretty special. Yeah, mulled wine, hot chocolate. Yeah, and I guess they had wine. Nobody told me about that. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't hardly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's been a rough run down. Yeah. Or maybe a great run down. Who knows? But we met a couple people. We saw Lucy, our friend. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. They're going to spend the night there, which we've done before. And uh, yeah, I hope it's a good night for them. I heard the window opened up one time they're there and the snow blew onto their faces in the night. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen to them. Rustic. <laughs> it's a rustic cabin. Well, I hope you're having a great time, a great day. Get outside. Yeah, get outside. Get some outdoor time. Peace. Bye.